Hi there, and welcome to part one of the KiCad tutorial series. The first step is to install KiCad. Now, whilst you might have a, an installer for your operating system or version in the package repository of your operating system, I prefer to build it from source because I want the latest version and I found that to be more stable and useful than the versions that came bundled, for example, with Debian, which was pretty out of date. Even the version on FreeBSD was out of date. Okay, so if you just type in install KiCad into Google, the second here is how to build it on Linux. Follow these instructions. The first step is to install a bunch of tools and dependencies that you need. Now, I'm just going to go through, you can read these yourself, obviously, but I'm just going to go through and explain a couple of things to guide you. This is really aimed at people who perhaps don't usually install their software themselves or build it from source anyway, because I'd like to encourage you to do it because it's, it is easy to do most of the time. <laughs> so do that. And then you've got to make a directory where you want to build KiCad. And then the next step is to check out KiCad. So that will check it out using BZR, which is a version management system for concurrent source code editing. And it will check out the latest version of the source code. Go into there and make a separate build directory. So just follow those instructions. So here we are, KiCad.BZR. Now, create a build directory with it, a sub build directory within your kicad.bzr directory. I've already got it and I've, I've already actually installed this and compiled it, but I'll go through it anyway. Now you will need to run cmake dot dot slash. cmake is a program that generates source um, make files. And it checks where all the things are, the dependent libraries on your system are, and it will generate make files so that you can compile the project. It's a make file generation. It doesn't just generate make files, actually. It generates lots of different build, build um, environments. So it's a kind of cross-platform way to build software, especially when it's complex or there's lots of dependencies. So do you see make dot dot slash? That's referencing the parent directory. Now do make, and you can call make with the slash dash j with a number of cores, or the number of threads, effectively the number of threads that are running. So like this. Now, once it's compiled, do a make install. You'll have to do that as root. So use su or sudo and install it as root. That will then install everything and use a local share KiCad. Well, it will install the binaries somewhere else, but it was the next thing you want to do is install the KiCad components library. So in this case, you create another, you check out another repository, which is kicadlibrary.bzr. Check this out, create a sub build directory, run CMake and make install that, and install the documentation if you want to. Now the next step is, is quite important. By default, kicad, Installs its footprint footprint library tables as GitHub references. So the footprints are the things that you use in when you get to the stage of laying out a PCB. They will be where the copper pads are for a transistor or an LED or whatever. And by default, with the installation from BZR. It will create a footprint library table, which is FP lib table, footprint library table, in there that references get this GitHub environment variable. And the disadvantage of this, of course, is that every time you load up 
you want to look at the footprints, you're going to have to load it from GitHub. It locally caches, but if you're offline or you're in an area of bad connectivity, if you're on the move, then that isn't very useful. So I wanted a way to have the, the footprint library tables available offline. It turns out there is an easy way to obtain that. If you go into the kicad.bzr that you checked out and then scripts, there is a, a nice script called library repos install.sh. If you edit this and then say where you want the library repositories to go, I'm going to put them in kicad forward slash kicad in my home directory. You don't have to use a full path, it says to, but it works using a relative directory. If you really want, use a full path. Now, now what you want to do is call library repos install.sh with install or update. Now, I've already ran this. Now, one thing to, um, to be aware of is when you first run this, it will try and install the prerequisites for itself. Because what it will actually do, it will check out, it will actually check out Kicad library that are first. But what it needs is git curl and sed. So, and it will try and do this as root. So it will ask you for your password, for example, in Debian. If you've already installed git and curl and sed, if you already have them on your system, or if you're not using sudo, for example, then when it asks you for your password, just press Control C to get past that. Otherwise, we do install or update, and what that will do, and you'll see this now actually, it will try and update each of those library repositories. So it didn't, um, yeah, this is where I, I originally put my footprint, footprint repositories. I put them in a subdirectory, actually. Once you've done that, that means that all your footprint, footprint repositories are there. And they're in that directory that you've put, put them. Now, you need to tell KiCad, first of all, you need a foot, footprint library table that has a list of all those libraries and you need an environment variable chi-sysmod that points to that directory. So what you want to do is copy user local share kicad template fplib table dot for pretty pretty is the, their new footprint library format. It uses dot pretty extension directories so that's what it means. And copy that into your home directory in .config kicad fp lib table. So do that. That's copying the footprint library table. And if we look at that, you'll see that now we've basically got the same list as before that we saw in user local share kicad uh, templates fp lib table. But Instead of GitHub, it's chi-sysmod. So chi-sysmod is the environment variable, and we want to so we want to export that to equal the place where we put the libraries, which in my case was here, and that corresponds, just to be clear, to the, where you set set here and then it appends library repos and then they're in there. So I've set crisis mod to there. You also need to set this environment environment variable you know permanently so put that in your dot bash rc file for example or whatever file your um your shell uses. Oh you once you've done that, we should now be able to run KiCad. And now I'm leaping ahead of ourselves now. Ignore everything you see. 
But if you, for example, lead the lo load the library tables, you will see that all the library tables are there. And we can see that it's pulled up the environment variable and it points to where we put the library repositories. That means that all of the footprints are available in KiCad now. And they're all locally available, which is really useful. Now, everything's installed. KiCad is installed. You've got the latest version. And we're ready to get on with the tutorial, which you can actually see the output of here because I did all the tutorials and then I came back because I wanted to make sure this installation was as solid as I could get it especially with the footprint tables because I was using the github repositories and it was annoying me actually that it kept there'd be a delay of two or three seconds while it downloaded them for that each time I ran KiCad okay well thank you for listening and if you have any problems uh, <laughs> please ask a question but I am only interested really if you're using Linux or FreeBSD. That's just because that's the systems I use and I don't have the resources to look at the other systems, Windows and Mac. Thank you and good luck. And thanks for listening.